just to extend on the previous uh, video we will take another look at simple cleanups in Lightroom which can actually make a huge difference in the presentation. We will also take another look at the fringing that happens when you are shooting in high contrast or for whatever reason overexposing. So these are the images from today and I have picked this one to start the demonstration for simple cleanups. I have also put some in the quick collection. I have already applied the preset and cleaned up and processed this one. So let's go into the develop mode or rather let's create a virtual copy. As you can see this is copy 1 and there is this paper mark which tells you that this is a virtual copy. Press D for develop and command shift R to reset. As you can see this is reasonably overexposed. And now let us take a look at these edges. You can clearly see the purple fringing. Right? Not much here, but definitely a lot on the edges especially these areas. So, although the preset will remove these simply, but there is still a bit left. Right? You can see the purple part here. And let us zoom in a bit more. Yeah, that is a lot clearer. So, we go into the lens correction go into the manual and increase the amount of defringe in this case uh, 3 works maybe 5 let's see ok we can manually adjust the purple hue in this case since we don't have much we can push it around a bit so that takes care of the fringing most images when you are shooting in high contrast or bright light, some areas especially with the high contrast will have this kind of fringing. Sometimes it might be purple, sometimes it might be green. In both cases, you can deal with it. Before we move on though, there is one point I would like to share. In general, overexposure is fine, but Underexposure is a crime. Slight overexposure, sometimes also referred to as ETTR, is fine for digital photography when shooting RAW. Since mostly you can recover this easily in post and get a reasonable amount of detail. This is based on how the sensor data is arranged and stored. So, there is no way out currently. So, with that out of the way, let us look at what has been done here in this image besides the fringing. Now, this is from my rooftop. The wall and the squirrel is jumping off it because there are quite a few pigeons there. So, there is some feed on the ground which it will go and get. So, I will apply, apply the preset which I have already done actually. R for crop and although I am cropping that area out anyway for now. Let us say around there. Obviously, it is overexposed. So, we will bring the exposure down to a reasonable level. I uh, will leave the shadows there for now. Shift double click on the whites, shift double click on the blacks. Just a bit too much, so we will just fix that. We will not get into the rest of the settings because that is not the point here. Now we press a Q, which is the spot removal tool. Just make sure it is larger than the area that you are trying to cover. 
Now what I want to do here is remove all these spots. This is currently set to heal, so it will try and match. We remove this part, we remove this part, here, we just click on it. And here, it's still larger than this, so we click here. Now in case you need to change any of these, you can simply click on that and change it to clone, heal as needed. Now let's zoom in to one to one. In this region. And let's see if we can have Lightroom fix this. We click here, it goes there. Let's try and match some of the shadow. Maybe a bit further down, maybe a bit further up. Somewhere around. And ideally clean up these smaller spots. We have a few here. But I guess the idea, the intent is clear. So now that we've cleaned this up, even this shadow does not look bad. Let's take a look at the before and after. We press a Y for that. So, as we can see here, there is a huge difference because these patches do attract the eye. So let's go back to our normal view. And once you're done with the cleanup, you can still try and adjust maybe a slightly more whiter background. Maybe the clarity can be increased a bit to highlight the subject and the shadows. You could even go into photo and flip it horizontal depending on how it seems better to you because ultimately it is your choice for example if we do this then you would have to go back to the spot removal tool and try and remove these Now this has gone here, so we can just pull it up here. And we try and go across this. You do not really have to clean up all of this. These were the major distractions which are gone. So left or right is totally your choice. How you choose to crop and process is again totally your choice. Notice I have not touched the white balance here because sometimes the camera can get it right but I'll still probably want to reduce this a bit and maybe go into the tone curve pull it down to increase the contrast so this is for this particular image we go back into the grid view and our quick collection and uh, this is another example specifically where you have uh, images with water or water birds although this is not a water bird this is just a puddle and this bird was at the edge of the puddle we do the same process q for spot removal and just remove these spots just click and they will go away Even a simple cleanup like this can make a world of a difference to how your subject stands out. Let's look at the before and after again. That's it. This is clean and this has too many distractions. 
Okay, let's go back into the grid view. And another very subtle technique. This is a slightly older image. And we press K for the adjustment brush. Lightroom has chosen to save my earlier settings here. Does not matter. Look at the background. There is nothing really wrong with it. But we just do a rough selection. Click on double click on effects. And now we will just pull back on the texture, the clarity and the sharpness. Just that little bit. That's the difference. We click done here. We can go back and increase the contrast on the subject, the details. And that's it. Sometimes you have a background which is reasonably good, but it can be made better within a minute or two. For example, this is another image unprocessed. So let's just. There's nothing wrong with the background here, but let's take the adjustment brush. You can choose to display the overlay instead of the black defaults that's being picked up here on my Lightroom. It doesn't have to be an exact mask for this purpose. Sometimes you might want to make it more accurate, which is fine. You can always press Command or click Auto mask here and just go around the edges. So now we'll just double click effect, cancel everything out, turn the mask off, and we do exactly the same thing texture off, clarity off and sharpness off. That's it. Just that little bit. And again here I would recommend going into Q, Spot Healing. And since this is a brighter dot, just remove this. Just that one minute of additional effort can make a huge difference. So that's about it for now. But before we leave, how do I import the wildlife preset? It's simple, go into the develop mode, click on create or import or manage presets as desired. You can click import presets wherever you've downloaded the wildlife preset, simply import it from there. If you want to create your own preset, you can also do that from here. Similarly, if you go into the adjustment brushes or radial filters, in either case, you have some predefined effects here. You can also save your own uh, custom presets from here. And if you have some others imported or uh, set up and you want to remove them, you can simply restore default presets from here. Okay, now that we have the mask in place, let's say we want to decrease the contrast. So we'll go into the mask again. Click on this dot to select the mask. Briefly, it will show an overlay. And let's say we just want to remove some of the whites. 
just around there and maybe reduce the shadows so the subject stands out a bit more unless you have a good selection don't push this too much otherwise you'll see a halo around the subject and once you're done just click done we'll have some more of this in the next video